Hi everyone. Um, have you been? Have you ever been in a situation where being equal does not result in being fair? Let's see the example of those kind of situation. Happy birthday! I bought you a cake. Let's celebrate. Thank you. I love cakes. Okay. Let's cut it equally into four pieces. They divided the cake equally into four. But wait a second. Does everyone is really, really satisfied with this? Does equality really result in true well-being? Let's check it out. Happy birthday. I bought you a cake. Let's celebrate. I love cakes. Oh, okay. Oh, you, so you guys don't like cakes? Well, I'm not a big fan of cakes. Actually, I'm on the diet. Okay, then let's cut it like this. As seen in the second act, I believe that you recognize how he divided. He is adjusting to his family's individual needs. This is called equity. Equality and equity sounds the same, but they are totally separate. We would like to explain these differences. Equality is a situation in which all people are treated fairly and have the same opportunities. In the first act, divided the cake. In the first act. And on the other hand, equity is a situation in which all people are treated by meeting their needs. To make it easier to understand, we made this slide to describe the differences between these two similar sounding words. It is a picture of three boys trying to look over a wall. One is tall, another is average, and the other is short. However, the society is more focusing on equality, not equity. Considering about equity and equality, we came up with some problems in scholarships. These problems are close to our daily life. We researched the scholarship system in both Taiwan and Japan. Please look at the slide. Firstly, how many students go to the, go to the university? In Taiwan, there's Almost 97% of the students go to university. In Japan, there's almost 57% of the students go to university. Secondly, this is a comparison of the annual tuition fees in both countries. In Taiwan, it costs about 100,000 yen for public schools and about 150,000 yen for private schools. In Japan, it costs about 500,000 yen for public schools and up to a million yen in private schools. How many students get a scholarship? In Taiwan, only 20% students who are going to university get a scholarship. In Japan, 38% students get them. In general, there are two types of scholarship, loan-based scholarship and grant-type scholarship. A loan-based scholarship is a scholarship that you need to pay back and grant type scholarship doesn't have to be paid back. In Taiwan, almost 79% of the scholarship are grant type, but in Japan, only 1% of the scholarship are grant type. In Taiwan, each person can get 36,000 yen per year on average out of the annual tuition fee. In Japan, each person can get 144,000 yen per year on average. In both Taiwan and Japan, the, the scholarship is not enough to cover the annual tuition fee. As we said before, the annual tuition fee is very expensive, and the scholarship is not enough for students to cover the high annual tuition fees. If you apply for the loan-based scholarship, you have to pay back the money. To pay the money, you have to find a job and start working after graduating. But to some people, the money they have to pay back every month is stressful to them because they still have to earn a living.
This is very problematic in Japan. First, only those only those who are very poor can get the Grand Times scholarship. Moreover, as for the students who get the low base scholarship, they need to pay back a large amount of money for 14 years after graduating from university. I believe you've noticed the scholarship system in both countries is not good enough and far from satisfactory. That's an example of the world. The scholarship problem is not resulting in neither equity nor equality. The scholarship problem is far from back equity and not everybody is reaching the same goal. Then, how can we make it more affected by equity? First of all, scholarship is for the students to learn what they want and where they like. However, the current scholarship system is not making this possible. As we said earlier, most of the scholarship system in Japan is long based. To make, to, make, to make the scholarship more accessible for students, not only increasing the amount, we need to change it to the grant type scholarship according to their needs. Nowadays, equality is viewed with high value. We think that equality is only thinking of being equal now, but they will not result in future well-being. In this picture, we in this picture we also think is well-being in the in the well-being well described as the ocean. On the other hand, we think equity will result in future well-being because equity is about acting now, thinking about how to reach an equal world in the future. The number of boxes describe how the people are supported by the, their individual needs. The boxes make it possible for everyone to see beyond the wall. It is important for us to think about the present and to act to make it equal. But we think it is more important to think about future well-being and act with equity. In order to make our society filled with more equity, we need to give the support which is meeting the people's individual needs so that we can reach our goals in happiness and well-being in our life. Thank you for listening.